Hey, it's Chaba, and now I'm going to show you how this extension works and how to use it with OBS Studio. Let's head over to a supported video conferencing application and see it in action. After installation, the extension will be automatically active on the supported sites. At first, you might only see the control buttons, but let's join the room. Let's say that Bob enters the chat room. Bob will get his section on the overlay. Now let's say that Alice joins us in the meeting. Now she will get her section on the overlay too. Now what happens if Bob leaves? Nothing. His section remains on the spot and other sections remain on the same position too. Now what if Luke joins? Not much. He will get his section at the end too. But let's call back Bob. When Bob joins again, he will get back the same section that he ha already had before. Now you see that everyone gets their fixed section on the overlay. By the way, the order of the sections will remain intact even when you reload the page. If you want to remove someone who is not in the meeting anymore, press the X button next to their names. If you want to start all over again, press the reset button. Guest mode. There is an extra section that can be enabled and it is called the guest section. You can enable it with this button. If this feature is enabled, then there will be an extra section on the top of the overlay and it will always show the latest person who joined the room. This can be useful for example for managing a Q&A session on the show. Sizing. There are two ways you can change the size of the overlay. The first is the minimize maximize toggle button. Let's try that out right now. It simply just hides or unhides the overlay. But you can make the overlay full width too. Press on the resize button to toggle the size of the overlay. Note that even the browser window is being resized to the correct size. Right now I'm moving the window by pressing the ALT key while clicking and dragging. Check out your environment's hotkey for doing the same. With this function you can interact with the application and when you are finished you can enable the full width overlays for later use. How to use it in a streaming software? Now I'm going to show you how to integrate this extension into OBS Studio, a free and open source broadcasting software. First, let's create a new scene for every person, prefix them with something like SRC as in source. Now add the window capture source to Alice's scene that is grabbing the window with the stream fixer extension enabled. Disable the capturing of the cursor. Position it so that Alice's image fills the scene. Her name appears above her image so that will help you in the alignment process. Now add the same window capture source to Bob's scene, but position it so to show Bob's part. Note that we aren't creating a new window capture source. This way we save on some resources. Repeat this for Luke too. And now comes the fun part. Compose new scenes out of these scenes as creatively as you want. For example, create a new scene, call it something like Live Bob and add the existing SRC Bob scene to it. Create a new scene, call it like Live All and add all the sources to it. Extra tip. 
Since we are having a separate SRC scene for everyone, we only need to modify them at one place if we need to or want to. For example, let's add the title onto Bob. Now we can see that the changes happened everywhere simultaneously. Thank you for watching and please leave your comments and ideas on the GitHub issues page of this extension. Have a nice day!